Hi everyone, I'm here to do my In My Mailbox vlog of this week. In My Mailbox is hosted by Christy over at Storytime where we show what we got this week. Um, I didn't get any um, physical copies in this week. I did however get books on my Kindle and I got some swag. So let's get started because my Kindle battery is running really really low. Um, all the books that I got on my Kindle were free um, from Amazon. I'll leave linkies down below to them. The first book that I got is Alias Dragonfly by Jane Singer. Um, most of these books I got um, because the synopsis just sounded really, really good. And um, I'm not entirely sure anymore what they were about, but they were awesome enough for me to download them. Um, I also got Starfire Angels by Melanie Wills. Niles? Nils? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, then I got Moon Dance um, by J.R. Rain, which is the first book in the Vampire for Hire series. Um, and this is the only adult book that I got. And I don't know, don't think it had a cover, so it just looks like this. Then I got The Soul Keepers by uh, G.P. Ching. Or C.P. No, G.P. Ching. Um, and I think this one had a cover. Looks like this. And I... Um, wanted this one because of the cover because it looks interesting. Really looking forward to seeing who this guy is. Then I got Marks by Kim Richardson and this one doesn't have a cover, it just looks like this. It's the first book in the Soul Guardian series. Um, sounded good but I read online so. Then I got Eternal Eden um, by... who is it by? Nicole Williams and this one just goes blank on me. Oh no. Looks like this. And I also got books two and three in the runner series by Logan Rutherford. I hope I pronounced that right. Um it has a cover and looks like this is quite dark. Um these books are quite short. I've heard that they are slightly longer than an average short story, so um they should be quick reads. And then, last but not least, I got Shadow on the Sun, which is the first book in the Timeless series by Laura Kreitzer. Um, if the cover will work. Looks like this. And that's everything that I got on my Kindle. They were all free. I was looking for free reads because um, I was looking for new books to read and I'm still really um, on a low buy, so free books are the perfect solution for me. Then I got an envelope with swag. It's got swag from um, multiple persons in it, so it's not all from one um, person. First up, um, Beth Revis held a contest for the release of um, A Million Suns, and she was giving away 250 prizes, and I was one of the winners, so I got a postcard, and it's all stamped on and really dirty and... Um, it doesn't really look that great anymore, but I'm really, really happy with it because I loved Across the Universe. Looks like this on the back. The really pretty covers. So big, big thank you to Beth to send, for sending me this one. I'm really, really happy with it. Then I finally, finally got the swag that Ashley sent me. Um, I think I won her giveaway in November and she was like... Um, she sent me the book for, through Book Depository and then she said, well, did you get the swag? And I was like, what swag? I didn't get any. Um, and I was a bit afraid that it would be lost in the mail, but it arrived on the 31st of December. So uh, it barely made it into, uh, for, it bar barely made it in 2011. But anyway, I got it, so I'm really, really happy. And she sent me a lovely note. And she sent me a the pledge sticker, a bookmark for the pledge, a bookmark for the lipstick laws, a bookmark for the unbecoming of Mara Dyer, which I still haven't read, and I really should get to that. And then she also sent me a bookmark for a touch mortal, and it's signed so awesome and then she also sent me a signed sticker for a touch mortal and this one I'm going to stick in my um, copy of a touch mortal because I can't pre-order or order signed copies from her indie um, but big big thank you to Ashley for sending me this it's really really awesome 
Um, I don't often get that much swag. Swag, yes, that's a new word. Um, so I'm really, really happy whenever I get some. And then last but not least, I got a envelope um, from uh, Kirsten Hubbard, who is the author of Black Mandarin and Wonder Love, which will be coming out in March. And she sent me some bookmarks, and they are really, really pretty. Looks like this, it's all shiny. And then on the back it looks like this, has butterflies. And then the info on the book. Um, and she also included one signed to me, which was really, really awesome. And I'm really, really happy with that. Um, so big, big thank you to Kirsten for sending me these. Um, I will giving will be giving a couple of these away in a giveaway um, fairly soon. I'm not sure when exactly, but I will let you know. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy for these. So big, big thank you to Kirsten for sending me these. And that's everything that I got in my mailbox this week. Um, I'm still really, really happy with the books that I got. I'm still on a low buy. Um, it's getting really, really hard. Um, because I haven't bought too many books in like two or three months. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy that I can keep up with it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you got in your mailbox this week. And I'll talk to you guys later.